Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I have showered already. Um, I didn't do my skincare routine because I wanted to obviously do that on camera. Um, as you can see, I've also laid my edges. By the way, guys, I know that in my my video when I did micro links, well, when I was doing the micro links, I told Rosta that I was gonna, you know, I've got all the products, I'm gonna wash my hair um, at home, but I lied. I literally realized, like, I've had these micro links for, I think, three or four, I think this is the fourth week with micro links. And I proper realized that I actually, I don't have the energy to wash my hair. I don't want to have to do that. Um, I will just go back to Rasta for the convenience. Just by the way, I do have all the products that I need to wash my hair. Like, I've got all these products. Like, I've got gang, gang products to do my hair. But I was just like, actually, I don't want to do this. Wait, just hold on. Shaleen. I think my helper wanted something because she's actually busy on this side but yeah i was just like to myself i actually just love convenience i love going to the salon to do my nails i love going to the salon to do my hair i love just having convenience so i wasn't gonna put myself through that effort of having to wash this hair myself and then dry it and then straighten it no i wasn't gonna do that so i was just like you know what let me go back to Rasta and also my natural hair was very grown out so I needed to relax that as well so I just thought to myself you know what I'm gonna go back to Rasta and just get her to do everything herself like how gorgeous does the hair look it literally looks as good as it did when I first put these in it is so fresh and i'm absolutely happy with how the relaxed hair came out as well my hair looks like super super fresh mind you i did this this two days ago and i have not straightened or blow dried my hair since so i've literally just been like brushing it doing my edges obviously i sleep with a silk bonnet so that really helps a lot in keeping the hair looking slick but yeah i went back to rasta for relaxing my hair, straightening and all of that stuff, it cost me three fifty. Um, if I just went for a wash and a straightener, it would have been two fifty. But because I relaxed the front and the back as well, she charged me three fifty, um, which I'm happy I did, guys. I love convenience. Like I've said, um, I've showered already. Now I just want to take you guys through my skincare routine. I've never been one to do like your skincare routines and all that stuff. Literally all my life, I've used Vaseline, guys. Vaseline has always been my go-to. But for like the past year, year and a half, I started taking skincare routines seriously and just doing more to enhance the look of my skin as well as the glow. Currently, I like I haven't put anything on my skin, but. I realized that one thing about using your vitamin C's, your sunscreens, um, moisturizers and so forth, it's good because it literally gives you a glow. My skin has been glowing so much um, and a lot of people have been asking what are you doing for your skin and I promise you it's because I've started taking better care of it. It's one thing to have clear skin um, without any blemishes or like um, breakouts and stuff but it's another thing to have healthy glowing skin and i've realized that ever since i started like taking my skincare routine seriously and using certain products my skin looks healthier and it's glowing way more so the first thing i use like when i'm fresh out the shower i literally have all my products i keep them in the bathroom they literally stay at the bottom here in this cupboard so first things first i'll use like a toner my toner is finished but I usually prefer the Rain um, 
skincare toner um i had it in the cucumber flavor i think i'll just like put it down there yeah so i'll usually just like dab it with cotton and then up next i will do my vitamin c serum vitamin c serum i use the garnier one um it's a booster serum and i absolutely absolutely love how it feels as you can see i have been using it probably need to stock up on more of it but yeah i just like i just like put some like that on my face and then i rub it in I will like rub, rub it in into my neck, is wheel right up there. Once I'm done with my booster serum, I will do my eye cream. My eye cream is from Elizabeth Arden. So yeah. I will take some of that and I'll just rub it in underneath my eyes. Rub it in. Yeah, I will go in on the other eye with the eye cream. And then up next, I will do my moisturizer. I use the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme. That's the one I use. Absolutely, absolutely love this product. I've been using it for more than a year. And I really, really love how it feels on the skin. I also have... Um, the Elizabeth Arden, sorry, the Elizabeth Arden moisturizer, which is also a nice alternative to this one. But yeah, really love this. It feels good on the skin. Absolutely, absolutely love it. You can see that my skin already looks very moisturized and more hydrated than it was before I applied the products. I don't know, can you tell? Can you see there's like a difference? There's like a glow. So, yeah guys. I will sometimes like finish off my face, like after the moisturizer. I will like put on the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour miracle oil. I just don't know where I put it. I've been looking for it for a few days now and I can't find it but it's all good in the hood as you can see gorgeous gorgeous skin really really happy with how my face looks right now let me know what you think if you can see a difference before the skincare routine and after but yeah this is my face Oh, I'll also like, I really love this. There's this lip, um, Teology Tea Infusion Tea Balm that I really love. So I use this for my lips every time after I shower. It literally keeps them feeling so good. Sorry, my eyes are itchy. But yeah. This is what I use for my lips after bathing to just like keep them soft and from chapping. That's what I use. And then yeah, I think that's about it from the skincare routine. I know I also like, I know this is a skincare um, routine, but this is what I use guys. For my armpits i swear by this i've said this before i think on my youtube channel but i believe in mitchum more than i believe in myself 
I love using the gel one. I don't like the 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 stick. Is it the stick? Yeah, the solid one. I don't like that. I actually prefer the gel and I don't even put on a lot. Literally just like take out a bit and then dab it under my armpits and then do the same on the other side. Dab it. So yeah. I believe in Mitchum guys. I never sweat never have funny odors and trust me i've i've gone through like um deodorants and antiperspirants so what did i drop oh i've gone through brands trying to find the right one so this one i highly believe in um and then before moisturizing my body i will put on this body firming lotion that i got at the body and skin care clinic i have to put this on my stomach as you guys know i am currently doing treatments um to tighten my stomach and um get rid of some of the fat around my stomach area so i have to apply this like every day in the morning and I've been consistently doing that since I received it. But yeah, that's for my stomach. And it smells quite good as well. So yeah, guys, that is it from me and my skincare routine. For my body, like to moisturize my body, I actually use Vaseline, but I also mix it with... Sorry, I needed to grab this. This good leaf... Um, body lotion so yeah it doesn't I don't like how it smells it probably smells like castor oil but I put it on because it also like makes my skin feel good so yeah I will put I'll use this for my body and then mix it with go over it with Vaseline as well and then I feel moisturized for the entire day no ashy skin in 2023 guys please moisturize and make sure your skin always looks fresh that's it from me and my skincare routine i'm quickly gonna get dressed maybe i must get dressed with you guys but yeah i want to quickly get dressed and then get my i want to quickly get dressed and then yeah get my day started by the way guys later today i'm gonna be making um chicken i'm gonna be showing you guys my chicken recipe my roast chicken recipe I had actually shot this video guys I actually shot can you believe I shot a whole video for you guys like the skincare I'm redoing this I shot my chicken recipe and like just um, updates and then I mistakenly deleted all the footage so all of this I am reshooting so I hope my energy does not feel low but I'm having to reshoot all this content um which sucks but i was like it's fine i need to bath anyway and i need to prepare dinner for my family anyway so i'll just use that as an opportunity to like reshoot the content um so yeah i'm quickly gonna get dressed and then start my day <laughs> So guys, before I get dressed, I actually wanted to show you how my cupboards look. So the other day, um, Sino was all well posted that she had been reorganizing and decluttering her closet and she like posted a reel and stuff. I was instantly inspired, so I decided to get my helpers to also help um, me to declutter my own cupboard and to remove all the stuff um, that I no longer wear or that I don't wear as frequently. Um, I was saying to Zam, because Zam was not big on it when I told him that I would be decluttering his closet. Um, he's very much a hoarder, but I believe that when you let go of the old, you make room for new things. So I let go of Things that are still in good condition, but things that I could say I hardly wear and they were just taking up 
way too much space um, for people wondering because a lot of people on my Instagram ended up asking me um, if I'll be selling my old stuff or giving it away but I ended up like just asking my helpers to split them between themselves and to take stuff for their families as well so yeah I quickly want to show you before I get dressed I quickly want to show you what it looks like at the moment it makes me so happy guys my cupboards are super super neat and it's just so nice to look for stuff to wear now because i find my stuff easily and so going forward it's just going to be a matter of maintaining what it currently looks like um i'm just glad that um my living nanny was there to help me pack the cupboard so even when she's like doing laundry and she has to repack everything she knows what i want my how i want my clothes to be packed and what I need them to look like. Speaking of living, living nanny, I will give you guys an update. Um, so yeah, we finally decided to get a living nanny. And it's honestly been probably one of my best decisions this year or Zamanai's best decisions this year. But let me quickly show you my closet, get dressed, and then I'll tell you all about why we decided to get a living nanny and how it's been going so far. guys it's literally a few hours since i shot like well gave the um the tour of what our covers look like now um i got distracted with some urgent work that i needed to do and now i've like picked up aj from school he's back and so I decided to continue shooting. But I wanted to give you guys, um, or tell you guys about our new nanny and also just explain why we've decided to go back to having a full-time stay-in helper or slash nanny. For those of you, I'm gonna give a backstory. Um, sorry, I wanna move this back. I am gonna give a backstory for obviously those people who have not been subscribed to my channel. For long and who don't really know um, why we had to let go of our old nanny we haven't had a full-time living nanny for like over a year just over a year i think and reason so this is yeah the backstory i don't want to mumble too much because i know myself i can talk a lot so backstory when aj was born we had a living nanny whose primary focus was just aj taking care of AJ, making AJ's laundries washed and cleaned, making AJ, making sure that AJ has eaten, making sure that AJ has bathed and so forth. I was still working um, full time in corporate at that time, but that was, and she was with us from when AJ was born, like from the day AJ was born, not I'm lying from like when AJ was like five days old, she was with us. On top of that, we had our helper, Sistutu. She's been working for us, well, she's been working for Zan's family since 2016 and she's been working for us since 2019. And so Sis Dudu's main thing was cleaning the house, doing our laundry, ironing, and she would only come twice or three times a week to do that stuff. Shut up. 
We had Andy, she was great, she was amazing. So how we found Andy, the our old nanny, um, was through an agency. My mother-in-law knows someone who has an agency for helpers and she got us Andy through that agency. She came, we loved her, she was amazing, she was good with AJ. But our, we had like small and concerns. She wasn't really great at like your cleaning and stuff. But we didn't expect her to do that so it wasn't a big deal for me so even when she wanted to assist with the cleaning or tidying up of the house i didn't really mind but it didn't bother me that she wasn't like amazing at it because we had sis dudu for that and her primary thing was helping with aj our biggest issue with her guys she never came back when she said she would come back which was quite annoying um i'm one person i'm very lenient i'm very Guys, I understand life happens. Um, sometimes there's emergencies. But when it came to her, she would never, like ever, I mean like ever, in the year that she worked for us, she never, yeah, she was with us for a year. And so we've basically not been with the helper for a year and a half. But she would never come back when she said she was going to come back. There was always a story. It's either her money ran out or... Like, we would say she must meet us in Durban because she was from the Eastern Cape. So we would say, we in Durban this weekend. Like, she'd leave. And every time our helper left, she would leave for a week. So she would be with us here in Joburg for two months. And then after two months, she would leave and go home for, like, seven to ten days. And then she would come back. But whenever she was meant to come back, guys, there was something always without fail um i remember when after maternity leave when i was meant to go back to work after maternity leave this lady went home right and like she left for a week and yeah about like seven days she was gone home and the weekend when she was supposed to come back on the sunday zam and i had a wedding in durban so we said to her okay auntie to make your life easy so that you don't have to travel all the way because she lived far like i think where she lived was like a nine hour drive from Joburg, but it was much closer to durban so we said and instead of you driving the entire eight to nine hours from eastern cape to Joburg, take a bus or take a taxi to durban which is like a four hour drive four to five hour drive and then we will pick you up in durban go to escort KZN to say hi to my mother-in-law and then drive home the same day but we asked her please 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 make sure you get to Durban early in the morning because we're checking out of our hotel at 10 then we can pick you up and then we can go to escort come to Joburg guys when we checked out that Sunday morning we called her she was still in the Eastern Cape she was still in the Eastern Cape guys so we say to her you know what auntie we're not going to stay in Durban because we've already checked out and we're not gonna like we can't be hanging around it like aj was about four months at that time we can't just like hang around in like the city or in a restaurant with like a small baby for so long for four to five hours so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive to peter maritzburg so zam's family has a home in peter maritzburg his other sister stays there so we're like we're gonna go to peter maritzburg which is an hour from durban we're gonna wait for you there when you get to Durban, take another taxi to Peter Marisburg. You will find us there and then we can drive from there. Go say, go like, in order to come to Joburg, we need to pass escort anyway. So like, we'll drive from Peter Marisburg, stop in escort, spend like an hour with Uma and then drive back to, to Joburg. Guys, we go to Peter Marisburg, we sit there. We waited the whole day in the tree. We waited for so long. We kept calling her to check where she was. She still wasn't like, she still hadn't arrived. And then eventually at like 5.30, like around 5.30, 6 o'clock. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> around 5.30, 6 o'clock, we decided to call her to find out. Wootie, Andy. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm working. Focus. 
around like Charlene, please close the door for me. Okay. Oh, AJ. So around 5.36, we call her. Auntie, where are you? She's like, she's an escort. We're like, but Auntie, we asked you to get off in Peter Maritzburg. You're in escort. So you passed Peter Maritzburg, drove in the taxi for another hour, and then only when she gets escort, she says she's an escort. And this is because we called to find out where she was. Guys, I was furious. I was upset. And if it was any other time, I think I would have been fine. But this is four months after my maternity leave. Or oh, this is after my maternity leave. I'm going back on Monday. It's my first day back at work. I wanted to get home as early as possible so that I can relax, spend the last few proper hours with AJ before going to work and arrive to work so on my first day of work feeling refreshed and rested before I start with work. It is now half past five in the evening. She's telling us she's an escort. We need to drive another hour from Peter Marisburg to escort, meaning we'll only be an escort around 6.30. We're gonna see Uma for a bit. That's gonna take another hour, so we'll only leave escort around half past seven, eight o'clock at night. That's a four hour drive from escort to Joburg, so we'll only get home midnight. We drive, we get to escort. I don't say anything. I'm not much of a talker, guys. Um, I think one of my, I don't know if it's a toxic trait, but one of my negative traits is I'm not much of a talker. If you've upset me or annoyed me, I will keep quiet. Like, I will keep quiet. I'll talk to you if I need to talk to you, but I won't say much. And so we get to escort. We see Uma. I'm there. I'm quiet. Zam also doesn't say much because what can you say to her? And then we leave escort around 8 o'clock. We with a baby, we're in the car, we're driving, we drive for a few hours. Literally, when we're like an hour and a half away from Joburg, one of these construction stuff fell on the road. We don't see it because Dan was driving like at 120. He drives over that construction thing, a tire burst. Tire burst, we're now, fortunately, we're driving um, the Mercedes, it has run flat tires, so. It allowed us to drive a bit further more until we got to the toll gate but the, the but the tire was finished there was no way we were going to make it to Jolik. now at this point my boobs are engorged my boobs are engorged i'm trying to feed aj he's hungry i need to like squeeze my boobs um or squeeze the milk out into a bottle it's a mess guys you can imagine how upset i am because i'm like if it wasn't for auntie we would have been home hours ago why am I in the middle of nowhere, stranded, with a baby, with a four-month-old baby? Guys, she didn't even show remorse. Let me tell you, Auntie did not apologize for the situation. She didn't say anything. She just mised, which made me even more upset. I'm like, this person is not taking accountability for the situation that she's put us in. She didn't apologize that she took, literally, she didn't come to Durban when we asked her to come to Durban. She didn't apologize that she took the whole day to get to Peter Maritzburg. She didn't, like, even stop in Peter Maritzburg, went straight to escort and literally left us in this situation so we keep quiet and mind you mercedes can't even fetch us it's a sunday they can't send us the car they can't send anyone to come pick us up it's a sunday night the only option they gave us was you guys can go book into a bnb we'll cover the costs or a bnb will cover the costs and then send a car for you on the monday and send a truck to fetch the car and take it to where it needs to be fixed and i'm like i cannot go to an airbnb imagine me calling my boss um, it's, I've had maternity leave. I haven't been to work. And then the day before I'm supposed to, or the day or on the day I'm supposed to come back to work, I call her, sorry, we had a tire puncher. I can't come back to work. I wasn't going to do that. Like knowing the person that I also worked for, I worked for, like, yeah. So I was like, I'm not going to do that. And I said to them, Zan, we can't sleep in this place or look for a place to stay. I need to be back in Joburg. So what happened was that Mercedes sent a truck to fetch us. They put the car 
on the truck they took us to this faraway place where the car was going to get fixed it was the nearest place where the car could get fixed took us to this place and we called Zam's other sister who well stayed in Joburg at the time she drove all the way to come pick us up and then we came home you won't believe me but we got home at like 5 30 a.m on the monday morning when i'm supposed to go back to work we got home i couldn't even sleep i was exhausted out of my mind i had to shower get dressed and go to work guys you would think that after this horrific situation home girl would do better the next time she goes home no guys the behavior continued she still went home or still would go home and not come back when she said she would until the final stroll this was when i think just after or just before aj turned one she went home oh yes it was like during covid around covid times around covid times it's like 2021 2021 around july 2021 yes 2021 around july guys auntie needs to go home there's still like provincial restrictions at that time the whole country is not open she says she wants to go home she actually she didn't even say she wants to go home i say to her auntie i think you should go home for a bit because you need to see your kids you haven't seen your kids in a minute because of covid please go home spend time with your kids and then you can come back but to ensure that you're not stranded will have a permit done for you. So Zam had a permit done for her so that she could travel into enter provincially. Zam bought her a return bus ticket. And what else did he do? Oh, I had like even given her like a whole lot of things to take home for her kids. Because I was like, no, you haven't seen them in long. What do your kids like? And I bought her stuff for her kid. Sharp, she leaves for close to two weeks. When she is supposed to come back, she's supposed to come back on the Sunday. Remember Zem bought her return bus ticket. She's supposed to come back. So I call her to find out. Auntie, you're coming back tomorrow, right? Guys, it's a Saturday. She doesn't take my calls. She doesn't take my... I think her phone was off. And then on the Sunday, her phone is on. She doesn't pick up. I try calling her, she doesn't pick up. I try calling her, she doesn't pick up. I try calling in the evening, that Sunday evening. She's supposed to come back on the Sunday. I try calling her that Sunday evening. We're even with friends sitting downstairs. I try to call her, her phone is off. She ignores me for another three days. On the Wednesday, she sends me a call back. And I'm like, Zam, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with Andy because I might just end up saying something that I will regret or something that is very hurtful. Can you please speak to her? Zam calls her and she says, Andy, what's the issue? And her response is, my grandchild has flu and that's why i couldn't come back and zamishri says so andy life happens we are very understanding people you know that we are very understanding the best thing you could have done if you wanted extra days at home you could have picked up the phone and said maga tandre i need a few more days at home can i please have two or three extra days and then i'll come back no, nope, she didn't do that. She decided to ignore me. So, Zam says to her, that's not okay. It's really not okay. You can't take advantage of our kindness, especially because we've always tried to put your best interests, like, at heart or first. Then Zam says, so, when are you going to come back? Guys, it was the 15th of July. No, it was around the 18th of July. I remember Zam is like, so when are you going to come back? She says to Zam, I'm going to come back month end. Mind you, she's on speak. I look at Zam and I'm like, eh, wow. Then Zam says to her, listen, auntie, it's honestly okay. Maybe it's best that you don't come back. It's, it's fine. Don't come back. We will be fine. Um, yeah, just don't come back. Like, I, I don't even think he said much. I remember him saying, Andy, don't come back. It's fine. You don't have to come back. We will make a plan to get the stuff that you left behind, your belongings. We'll make a plan to um, get it to you. And also, we had borrowed her. Zam had borrowed her a phone 
um because her phone broke while she was still working for us and then borrowed her phone and then was like i will make an arrangement to collect the phone in the eastern cape through the agency that we got her like through the lady the agency lady where we got her we'll ask her to get the phone and post it then after that guys i was like you know what Zam, it's fine i don't think i want to go through the emotional um strain of finding a new person getting to know someone else introducing aj to someone else it's a lot um let's just take aj to krish aj went to krish guys and then all the other times when aj was not at krish i was taking care of aj i was picking aj up from school i was watching aj during the day because obviously zam was not working from home or is not working from home he only works from home twice a week but I was like the primary, AJ was my primary responsibility. I didn't mind as well because I was like, you know what? At least I can be hands on. I can raise my son and like give him all the attention he needs. And even when Zam was home, he would help with whatever he's able to help or assist with. He would bath AJ before bed, um, feed AJ on weekends. I would, he'd let me rest if I needed to and he would watch AJ. So we did that guys for a good year and a half that's been our life cooking cleaning well sister Dude would cleaning on the days when sister Dude was not around because she was still or she still comes in to do the laundry do thorough cleaning and um do laundry thorough cleaning ironing yes because me personally ironing and laundry is not my portion like even Zam knows this. Zam irons better than me. Sometimes he has to iron my own things, my own stuff. But yeah, I don't do laundry and I don't do ironing. But cleaning, I can do that. But even with that, when you're trying to run a full household, when you're trying to make sure everyone's eaten and so forth, I never really have the energy to clean all the time. I can clean, keep the house neat, but I like don't always have time or energy to do thorough cleaning. Um, once a week or like twice a week, I would do the thorough cleaning. And it just always felt like I was looking after people. It always felt like I was cleaning. It always felt like there were dishes that needed to be done. And the reality of it, guys, I know for anyone who is married or who's living with a male, they drag their feet. If you say, please do ABC, it's I will do it later. Please wash the dishes. I will wash them later. Please move this from here. Yes, babe. Don't worry. I'm going to do it. And for me, that became frustrating. Like, I don't like it when Zam drags his feet. He knows this. Like, it frustrates me quite a lot because many or often I do things myself. So if I'm going to be asking you for help, it means that I'm at my wit's end. I'm tired. So when Zam wasn't doing things, when he... Or when I was expecting him to do the stuff, I realized it was causing a lot of frustration for me and it would lead to us having arguments. And so, yeah, and so, um, even if I was like, Zan, please bath AJ, it would end up taking long. Or he would say he will bath him and he would do it when he was ready to do it, which is fair. I mean, yeah, like, I almost felt, it almost felt like I was now becoming bossy because I was just like, do this, do that. No, why aren't you doing this now? Why aren't you like, oh, 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 frustration, tension in the marriage and unhappy wife, unhappy home. That's the reality. So in December, I sat down with Sam and I was like, you know what? I think we need to get or go back to having a full time helper. It will cause less burden and strain on our marriage if we do that, because then we will have someone in our home who's constantly there to be assisting us and he does not, he can focus on his work and doesn't need to stress about me nagging him all the time about doing this and that. And we were like, okay, let's get someone to come help us and just to relieve me as well. I want to go back to school this year. So yeah, I want to go back to school. Um, I want to study. I want to focus a lot on my work to create better content um, to focus on my business opportunities and I physically 
did not have the capacity or do not have the capacity to do all these things if I do not have the extra help that I need in terms of caring for AJ and running this household. So Zan was happy with us getting a helper. He didn't really, he was like, babe, if that's what you feel you need to do, then I support you. I even told my mother-in-law about it and my mother-in-law was like, yep, for the sake of your marriage and your peace and your sanity, get a helper. And so our journey to looking for a live-in helper started. But at the same time, I was very anxious, guys. I was anxious as hell because I'm like, oh, we haven't lived with someone. Because sister who came twice a week or three times a week. And she would come, she would sleep over two nights, and then she would leave the third day. So she wasn't here like all the time. So now it's a thing like, oh my gosh, now we need to go back to living with someone in the house. Um, and all of that and we need to go through the process of looking and making sure we find the right person and obviously by being on Instagram and social media I saw people's experiences with helpers and nannies and it wasn't always positive things and so I was like what if we forget someone and they're horrible or they um, are not good to AJ or they can't clean or they can't do and yeah I was just dreading the whole process so it was taking me quite long I remember my mom sent me not my mom, my mother-in-law, um, sent me a contact detail for a lady who's got an agency. And so I contacted her. She was like, no, she's based in, I think, Deep Slut. And she's like, no, she's got helpers from Zim, from Lesotho, from whatever. And in that moment, she was like, to me, the only person she currently had for me was a lady from Lesotho. And she was like, the lady was, I think, 30. And I just was not, my heart was just not comfortable with saying yes to that lady. I was like, hmm, I'm not sure. Because one thing about me, I wanted an older person. Um, I was like, they need to be like 38 and above. Because I was just like, I want a young person in my home. It's just, I don't want to end up feeling uncomfortable to tell someone that something they did is not okay. Because the person is my age and they're going to get offended. What not, what not, what not. So I was like, nope, can you please try find me someone else? And as that lady was looking for someone, I remembered. So we've got these friends, Melissa and Ruben. They currently live in Banito, but they used to live in Joburg. And Ruben has an uncle who also lived in Joburg with his family. They stayed in Westcliff. And they used to have like, um, I think three to four helpers in their home because they lived in quite like a huge house. They used to have like three to four helpers. And then last year, they finished building their new home in Cape Town. So they moved. And so I sat the one time and I was like, it's like random on a random day. I started like, probably it's like God, God works in mysterious ways, guys. But I, as I was sitting, I was like, I wonder if Ruben's uncle moved with all these helpers or if some of them stayed. Because I remembered Melissa, like Ruben's wife, my friend, she would tell me how amazing those helpers were. So I was like, I wonder if he moved with all of them. So I called, quickly called Melissa. I'm like, Melissa... Did Ruben's uncle move with all the helpers or did some of them stay behind because I'm currently looking for a helper? And by God's grace, she's like, nope, he didn't move with all of them. There's actually a lady that stayed behind and she would sometimes come clean for us at our place. So she gives me this lady's number. I immediately call her and I'm like, hi, I heard that you didn't move to Cape Town and I wanted to find out if you are still looking for a job because I'm looking for someone to come live with us full time. And she immediately was like, sorry, I'm unfortunately working already for another family in Bryanston. But she's like, but my sister is currently looking for a job. I was like, thank you, Lord. She's like, my sister's currently looking for a job. I'll send you her number. She sends me her sister's number. I immediately called her. Yeah, I WhatsApp called her and I'm like, hi. I'm looking for someone to work for me and then I tell her this is what I'm looking for the criteria um, so are you available and then she's like yep I'm looking for a job and then we speak about the payment and how much she's looking for she told me and <coughs> I was like okay it's fine can we meet up because I wanna meet up with you and like sort of like conduct an informal interview just to get to know you she was like, no problem. And we agreed to meet up. I think we spoke on a Sunday. We agreed that we'd meet up on the Wednesday. Wednesday, I went, met up with her. 
we spoke she actually came with a friend because she wasn't familiar with the area where we stay so she came with a friend and i was like no problem we went um we ended up going to like hagen d's and like i bought i bought ice cream and we sat down like i wanted it to be i wanted it to be a chilled like conversation basically so we sat over ice cream and we spoke and i asked her questions and based off of us sitting and chatting i was like i actually really like her and i was like okay i'm happy i think you can start on it was wednesday i'm like you can start on friday um yeah you can start on friday and what else yeah so we went our separate ways i went home and i said to my mom my mom was here and I was like to my mom, I think I really like her. I think she's going to be great with AJ. Because I also asked her, um, is she like more of a cleaning person, taking care of the house? Or is she more into children? And she's like, she loves kids, but she's also really good at cleaning and stuff. So I was like, okay, great. Um, if she can do, like if she's good at most things, then I will be happy because I know the day-to-day -day stuff will be taken care of. And also we decided we'll still keep Sister Dudu. Then Sister Dudu can come once a week and she can assist in the house with like extra things that our helper didn't get to doing. Then she can help with that. Like if there's still laundry to be ironed, then Sister Dudu can do that. Or if there's more laundry to be washed and our helper didn't get to doing it, then she can help with that. So yeah, that's why I think someone on Instagram asked me why I've got two people. So yeah, that's that's been... The arrangement so fast forward to the friday um i decided that sam and i should go pick her up because she lives like where she lives is like an hour away from where we stay so i was like no sam if we're gonna live with someone we need to at least know where they stay um and where they come from she's originally from zimbabwe by the way so she's originally from zimbabwe but she's been living in this specific area or this specific place for since 2019 so i was like suzanne nope let's go pick her up so we went to pick her up and i went inside where she stays she stays with a friend i went inside to help her carry her bags and the first thing i picked up was that it was very clean and i was like hmm, it's very nice it was clean it was neat and i was like okay she's a clearly a clean person and she's a neat person because where you stay is often a reflection of the type of person you are if you're a neat person or if you're untidy so i was like okay the place is neat guys we got home immediately she felt at home she took aj to the side she whispered to aj because my mom actually told me this like she whispered to aj's like hey i'm your new auntie and i'm going to be taking care of you you and i are going to be friends when i tell you that since the day she's arrived guys my life hasn't been the same she is a blessing this woman is a blessing she is such a blessing and life in our home has been so great she is clean she i don't need to tell her what to do i like she just gets things done her and aj are like besties as we're currently speaking they're sitting outside over here and aj is laughing and they're playing but i am so so grateful i remember praying the other day and i was just like god thank you so much for this thank you so much for this person thank you that you've brought her into our lives and i just asked god may you increase like increase my capacity to do more for her like i want to be a difference in her life i want my family like zam and i and aj to also like add value to her life and to make her life better and i was just praying i'm like god enable me to make this lady's life better the same way she has been making my life easy bringing um just order and guys everything functions like clockwork in this house now the house is always clean spanking clean aj is always clean he's always like everything is just always great the only thing she doesn't do um or help me with is like cooking i love to cook so i still prefer to like cook for my family and stuff so that i still do for myself and i still do cleaning guys in my house like i believe that when you have a helper you still need to, to some extent have a hand in your home do cleaning help with the cleaning when you need to but i'm glad that that's not my main thing i'm glad that i can focus on myself my well-being because there is someone else in my home 
who gets me and who always ensures that everything is in order so yeah guys that's it from me and my update on my nanny i don't know if you guys have any questions for me let me know if you have any questions regarding the nanny and please don't ask personal overly personal things personal questions there's just some things if i do often when i don't share things it's because i i feel there's no need for me to share i won't share people's private lives um but yeah that's it when it comes to my helper she is god sent amazing and i truly truly love her zemma's like i mustn't speak too soon but i'm like no i always know in my heart when something is right she is so respectful she's a lovely person like she's she's like value wise we share the same values and i'm just happy to have her in our home and i really appreciate her and i pray that god will just be with us through this journey and stretch my capacity to also pull more out into her life and to add value um yeah she was one day she ever decides to leave she must leave feeling like wow that was an amazing family and they truly truly made a difference in my life Some luck in the back. I don't give a what someone, someone say. Finally got my friends in the back on my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it big, just stay in the, stay in the moment, stay in the moment with me. Give you a moment, to give you a moment with me. Spend all the roses, spend all the roses with me. Your heart got a brand new one Since you got lost in November See it in your eyes when we leave for the night Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame burn out for a while Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment to Give you a moment with me Smell all the roses Smell all the roses with me Your aura passed me by Losing bad 
should all 